Rizzo was not considered to be a friend of the African-American community. So many in the African-American community, as this political maturity is, in, is coming, begin to raise the possibility about having an African-American mayor. Well, what would that mean? Well, that would mean that you had an African-American who ascended to the top political space in the city. And that means a tremendous lot. It means a tremendous amount for the young children. It means a tremendous amount for the city because it, you now have someone who empathizes with the experiences of African Americans and doesn't necessarily see that community as um, a space for confrontation that needs to be subdued and transformed into some other space, but at least has the possibility, the potential of empathizing in a very personal way with the experiences of the African-American community. Just because you have a black mayor doesn't mean things are gonna get better. In fact, you could have a white mayor who is more empathetic than a black mayor do a better job. So you need a mayor who is black that has courage. But I'd venture to say that you need a mayor who is white that has courage. You would need a mayor who is Latino that has courage to transform the situation to make it better for the citizens. So the real determining factor is not just whether you need a black mayor or not. You need a mayor who is going to empathize with the communities and the various constituencies and try to pull together everything for everybody.